Today, we're looking at why Hondas are so reliable. In fact, Hondas are so valuable that they're also some of the most stolen cars in America. Stick around to find out what I mean, because today we're looking at Honda innovations, reliability ratings, resale value, and repair costs. So let's just dive in and see what makes Hondas great. Did you know that Honda is the biggest manufacturer of internal combustion engines in the world? Each year they make more than 14 million combustion engines. They're also the world's eighth largest car maker. They built a reputation and track record of dependable, reliable cars. The average Honda vehicle lasts 209,000 miles. So what's the secret in their sauce? It's a no-brainer that Honda has high engineering standards and top-notch manufacturing processes. For example, Honda requires its vehicle parts to fit more tightly than most automakers, ensuring they don't wear down as quickly from grinding against each other. But it's much more than that. There are a few more factors that led Honda to become one of the most reliable brands in the world. One key was their beginning and the person behind the name. So Ichiro, founder of the Honda company, had no formal education. As a youth, he had no interest in school, and he spent most of his time helping his father repair bicycles. He loved tinkering with mechanical things. As a teenager, he went from his small village to Tokyo to work as an apprentice to a mechanic, and then returned to start his own company when he was just 22 years old. So Ichiro's approach to business and innovation extends to Honda's company operating philosophy down to even today. We can see it reflected in Honda's accomplishments. Often, Honda's engineering and manufacturing advances came ahead of its time. For the full story, check out my previous video on the history of Honda. But today, we'll just touch on some of their boasting rights. For example, 40 years ago, in 1982, Honda set the record with their second generation Accord. It was the first foreign car to be made on American soil. That was way back in 1982 when Honda built their Marysville, Ohio plant, and the Accord remains one of the best-selling passenger cars in America down to today. Nowadays, it's very common for car makers to use variable valve timing on their engines. But did you know that Honda was the first car maker to use it in a production vehicle? That was back in 1983. They went on to develop VTEC to boost their engine efficiency and power, eventually leading to some of the most iconic engines America has ever seen. Same thing with turbochargers. Honda was among the earliest adopters of turbochargers. They've been using turbos longer than than most car makers. Starting in the 80s with the City 2 Turbo, the Vamo Sliding Door Van, Life Dunk, and the first generation Acura RDX. Honda was also the first Japanese car maker to create a unique luxury brand. In fact, its early success ended up moving Toyota and Nissan to follow suit and launched their own luxury brands, Lexus and Infiniti. And don't forget, Honda was the first to make hydrogen and hybrid cars. Of course, many people assume the first hybrid was the Toyota Prius since it's so popular today. But actually, the Honda Insight debuted before the Prius and was the first hybrid car to be introduced to the United States. In fact, they were one year ahead. Honda was also the first car maker to introduce hydrogen cars to the United States. That was back in 2008 with the Honda FDX Clarity. So you can see how Sorichiro Honda's philosophy on innovation carried on through Honda's history down to today. Another reason for Honda's reputation of reliability is the Japanese culture. You can't just ignore it or take it out of the equation. Japanese culture values order, teamwork, and self-improvement. That means hard work and loyalty. It also means attention to detail, focus, and precision. It's no surprise that this kind of work ethic and company philosophy means good quality cars. But it's not just cars. Many people know that Honda makes motorcycles, but few people know they also make watercraft, ATVs, mountain bikes, lawn equipment, and solar cells. Honda even makes private jet aircraft. The HA420 is powered, of course, by Honda engines. Honda also created a humanoid robot called Asimo. Honda even has its own airport. It's located in Japan near its main plant. As you can see, Honda doesn't like to sit still. They have a broad span across various engineering technologies, and they're all about innovation. But now let's talk about some of the most reliable Honda cars. Do 
Did you know that the Honda Fit is ranked as the fifth most reliable vehicle according to one index? And of course, on the list is a Honda Civic, which has proven reliable over many decades, with tens of millions already sold across the world. Consumer Reports considers the Honda Civic Coupe the most reliable variant, and the Civic Coupe has received a lot of praise. And then you have the Honda Accord, which is now in its 10th generation, and still ranks high for reliability. Another reliable Honda car is the Insight, a four-door, five-passenger hybrid electric hatchback. It's one of the most fuel-efficient gas-powered cars in U.S. history. They do tend to be expensive, but they have low average repair costs. Also on the list is the Honda CRV. The CRV's reliability ratings aren't as high as other Honda cars, and the repair costs can sometimes be high, but it's still much more dependable than other cars on the market. It's not just brand new Hondas that are reliable. Old ones are too. That's why Honda is one of the top car manufacturers to have some of the best resale values. What do you think the other two top brands that have the highest rated values? Well, if you guessed Toyota and Subaru, you'd be correct. So let's say you bought a brand new car. After five years of ownership, an average car typically holds just 35% of its original price. But if your car is a Honda, Toyota, Subaru, its average resale value can be up to 62%. These three cars might be neck to neck, but they fare much better than other car brands. Just for kicks, you can look at resale value after three years and seven years. Honda, 77% after three years and 47% after seven years. Toyota, 74% after three years and 50% after seven years. And Subaru is 77% after three years and 49% after seven years. So why is Honda's resale value so high? Well, first of all, it's the name. The Honda Honda brand means value because they have a good track record. Hondas are a good value in terms of performance, efficiency, and affordability. Hondas offer craftsmanship and safety. They also have low ownership costs in terms of maintenance and repairs. So when you buy a brand new Honda, it's not just a great choice for reliability, it's also a good investment. So which Honda models have the best resale values? The Honda sedan cars with the best resale value include the Honda Insight and the Civic. If you're looking for a minivan, a good bet is the Honda. Honda Odyssey. For SUV, it's the Honda HRV, or for trucks, it's the Honda Ridgeline. Let's look at the Honda Civic. A new Civic starts a bit over $21,000. After five years, its resale value will be almost $13,000. So it'll lose a bit over $8,000 because of depreciation, which is inevitable in any car. But the good news is that the Civic will still keep almost 59% of its original value. That's excellent, because remember, compared to the average car, which only keeps 35% of its value. Or look at a new Honda Accord, which can start at $27,000. At year five, its resale value is almost $15,000. That means it depreciated only $12,000. In other words, it still keeps almost 53% of its original value. It's good to look at reliability ratings and resale values, but don't forget the average annual maintenance and repair costs. I'm talking about the average cost, frequency, and severity of repairs. When you're considering buying any used car, it behooves you to consider how much you can expect in repair costs, how often, and how severe. Honda cars have a relatively low average annual repair cost. Honda's average is just $428 compared to the overall car market average of $652. For example, the Honda Civic has an average annual repair cost of $368. The average repair frequency of a Honda is 0.3 times a year. In other words, one once every three years. The severity rating for all Honda models across the board is just 10%. It shows the brand is quite reliable. This means that most Honda cars that need a repair have non-urgent problems that are relatively easy to fix and are affordable. And here's an interesting angle to look at, theft. They say thieves only steal what's valuable. That's why car theft can be an interesting way to look at a brand's value and reputation. Did you know that two of the most stolen cars in America are the Honda Civic and the Honda Accord? Partly because thieves understand their value. Interestingly enough, the 1997 Accords remain the most stolen model year, even though they're over 20 years old. That's a testimony on how good these cars are. Well, that and actually the 1997 Accords were built with a fatal flaw. As the ignitions in these cars age, it becomes so imprecise that anything can fit in a keyhole, like the handle of a spoon, and it's enough to start the engine. Anyway, we've seen many angles on why Honda is so popular and so low. It's because they're high quality, have a low cost of ownership, and maintain durability. Certainly no one brand is absolutely perfect, but most professional organizations and consumers attest that Honda is among the cream of the crop. Reliability ratings for Honda cars typically rate above average and are consistently in the top tier for all around reliability as a brand. 
Honda cars have received a lot of awards. In 2011, a man by the name of Joe Cicero in the state of Maine reached 1 million miles on his 1997 Honda Accord with its original engine and transmission. What did Honda do when they heard the news? They gave him a parade in a brand new 2012 Accord. Well, here's an idea to try if you own a Honda. Try to have it last as long as possible and see if Honda will reward you too. But you tell me. What do you think? Please comment below and share your opinion of Honda. If you own a Honda, tell us which model and how reliable it's been for you. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.